Welcome. My name is Umit. I'm working for QA Market Research Company. We are conducting consumer research at an international and national level. So we would like to get to know a little bit about yourself. I couldn't uh, do you madam what do you like doing in your spare time? Because I am dealing and looking after the kids, I can uh, I cannot find any, a lot of time to uh, have for my hobbies, and we are generally spending our time just staying at home. Ses kesiliyor gene. Arada kesiliyor. Ses ses kesiliyor. Ya yaklaşınca iyi oluyor. Sonradan duruluyor duruyor ses. Yani biraz daha güçlü ve e, aynı yönde konuşun olur mu? Kafayı fazla hareket ettirmeden. Heh. Tamam hadi. Okay. Thank you. We'll talk about the snacks a little bit with, together with you. Could you please talk a little bit about them? What kind of snacks do you eat? Every kind of snacks I can eat. Wafer, biscuit, chocolate, ice cream. Is there anything that you especially like? Hello. Ha hello. Yeah, hi, I can hear you. Yes, okay. Uh, I mean, whatever I have at home, I can eat it. I mean, what about your kids? Okay. What kind of snacks do they like? Uh, the seeds. Pardon? You're just uh, listen, okay? You're just gonna listen a minute. Seeds. And chocolate. And very rarely chips. I will just listen here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, but I'm listening to the other people. You you shouldn't step speak. It's nice, I mean, uh, when I uh, have snacks, it just makes me feel good. For example, when I feel like eating something, when I am dealing with uh, anything, doing house chores, then I would like to consume something like that. What kind of snacks do you generally consume? You mentioned about the chocolate, vapors, and biscuits, etc. So I've got everything which is uh, which is regarded to be snacks as well. Or what time of the day you generally like eating this kind of, uh, especially during the lunch time? And I mean before the lunch, uh, before the meals. For example, before the lunch, I would like to eat, or before the dinner time, I can eat uh, snacks. Uh, and other than those, I mean, of course, I can eat on the other times as well. Uh, I always, uh, I mean, keep my mouth working. I mean, du during the day when uh, we don't have the meal, but I generally do. Uh, uh, and eat it before the meals, main meals. Uh, do you have a uh, Do you have any snacks that you can remember of your childhood? Uh, for example, when uh, I, I mean we were just uh, consuming a lot of chips when I was young. And uh, I think we were eating a lot of ruffles and uh, ice cream, algida. Or magnum we were eating. What changed over the years at the moment, for example? So, uh, I mean, the varieties of those kind of snacks have just been increased at the moment. And of course, I mean we cannot get the same test when we had when we were young, young, 
And I mean, for example, the the, the snacks that we were eating in our uh, in our younger ages were were better. Now everything has just started to be fabricated, and uh, they are not as delicious as they were before. But the the varieties and the variants of the snacks have uh, just increased. So there is nothing else that I can remember of my childhood and the changes occurred throughout the years. So my children consume a lot, I mean. What are, what are the snacks that your kids would like and enjoy eating most? Uh, I mean, my son likes eating a lot of snacks. Whatever we uh, we give him, uh, he eats, and he is not selecting anything. He is very easygoing person, and he doesn't have any problem with eating. Whatever he finds at home, he eats it. Chocolate, chips. So wherever there is something harmful for a child at the age of two and a half. Uh, I mean, he eats, and the the uh, older one is a little bit more cautious about the food that uh, he eats. What about your daughter? Does she like chocolate? Uh, ice cream she likes. Chips uh, consume very rarely and biscuits and chocolate she is because because uh, she's going to the school at the moment and uh, I am just trying to put some practical things into his feeding bag box lunch box and uh, I'm asking these questions for these two kids of yours what, which is the uh, the most favorable snacks that they like? Chocolate, I guess. Uh, is it chocolate for both of them? Yes. I mean, for for for the uh, for the baby, I mean, there is no limit. I mean, uh, so for, I mean, he's really very persistent. For example, when he wants. To, to eat chocolate, and if I just replace it with something else, he, he never accepts it, and he gets really very angry uh, until he gets the chocolate. And what kind of uh, food are you having with, together with your kids at home? Uh, I mean, generally, the milky products we generally try to consume because they are just very young and they are at the at the at the phase of uh, growing so that's really very important uh, for them to consume milk food or or the food which is going to be very helpful for them to get to be nutrated in a, a very balanced way when you go out together with your kids what do you like eating and doing we are going out for shopping and after the shopping, we can have lunch, and that's it. And other than this, you don't do anything. Uh, uh, I mean, we cannot go out uh, very, uh, very frequently because when we go out, especially the younger, uh, younger child uh, gets a little bit uh, annoyed about that. That's why. Be because we have just got over a very challenging period of time in our lives, so we are just paying great importance to uh, to not to be affected by anything. I am so I am just trying to uh, feed them in a very well balanced way. So let's talk a little bit about the pocket money that you are allocating to your kids. Let, let's talk about the older one. How uh, how old when he uh, when she was? We started. I mean, she she was at the fifth grade, 
uh, around nine years old then you started I ran uh, no ten I mean it was nearly ten when I started to give uh, the pocket money what was the purpose that you were allocating uh, her to uh, get the pocket money I mean uh, to just uh, uh, satisfy some of the needs that she might need when she was uh, in the school so uh, I was just allocating the pocket money for her uh, to spend it uh, when she was at school uh, how often do you go out together with your uh, kids uh, because my daughter needs to go to the uh, yes yes durduralım burada ses gelmiyor durduralım durduralım durduralım ses kesildi ha, Murat Murat Murat gelsin ses kesildi geri gönder Murat Evet L e Skype'tan bir daha gönder. Skype'tan bir daha göndersin sesi. Skype'tan göndersin bir daha sesi. Ya da nereden gönderiyorsa kulağıma. Ee, konuş bakayım. Ha, konuşun şimdi. Ee, geliyor ama yani böyle durduğunuz zaman yani bilmiyorum belki o Skype'tan oluyor. Sonuçta başlıyor bir cümleye, ortasında tekrar kesiliyor. Ya da ortasında artıyor, sonra kesiliyor. O, evet, şu anda mesela senin sesin çok net geliyor bana. Ama konuşma... Bilmiyorum valla. Okey, tamam. Dur bir dakika ya. Şu bana bir şey soruyor durmadan menü. Dur. Şeye diyor, bağlanamıyorum diyor. Ee, bu Hangout'a Hangout'ta bağlı değil mi şu anda ona da göndersin tekrar Murat Hangout'a gönder menüye Ümit, Ümit, Ümit, Ümit beni duyuyor musun? Şimdi ne kadar var bu sorular? Çünkü dondurma bizim asıl konumuz yani. Tamam, dondurmalara biraz daha hızlı gel. Birkaç varsa sor, ondan sonra dondurmalara geç. Olur? Bilmiyorum, hay bağlanmadı. Daha bağlanmadı, göremiyorum. Göndermiş mi Murat ki? Galiba online değil gibi geldi bana şimdi. Sanki online değil kadın. Yine attı mı koptu? Ne oldu?
Biraz bekleyelim. Nefesin gayet güçlü geliyor maşallah. Dur şimdi bağlandı. Google Google'a bağlanamıyorum diyor. Bir daha iptal edip bir daha mı gönderse acaba? internet bağlantısı var da olmasa skype da kullanamaz Menü, menü, başka bir şeyden, bağdan bağlanacakmış, başka bir şeyden bağlanacakmış. Dur deniyorlar bir 5 dakika bana müsaade edin dedi.
Ümit. Şimdi e, başlayınca e, evde yenilen şeylerden bahsettin zaten. Direkt şeyden bahset olur mu? E, nerede? Sevdiğiniz tatlılar nelerde diyor. Hangilerini evde hazırlıyorsunuz diyor. Tamam mı? Ha. What is bought from outside? How often do you buy this? Falan filan diye gidiyor ya. Hemen ondan sonra şeye girelim yani. Dondurmalara. Yok, bekliyorum. Ya aynı ofiste patronu evet bağlı, kadın bağlı değil. Öyle söyledim. Şimdi bakayım. Kes, kesiliyor diyor.
Evet, ona göre karar vereceğiz. Yani biz çok bir uzun süre bekliyoruz. Tamam oldu. Bekliyorum. Sağ olun. Ha geldi mi? İki. Yağmur. Alo. Alo. Yağmur. Şu telefon alanından gelen arayacak buradan galiba. Bir tane de dersin değil de uzaktan kanalı da alacağım. Bir de araba geliyor galiba. Bir açarsın tamam. Başka bir şey yok.
Bir dakika. Şimdi konuşun biraz bakayım. Aha, ha, tamam çok iyi. Bir dakika dur. Ee, Um, many can you hear? Yes, I, I see you. Okay. Uh, evet, başlıyoruz. So now we are going to be resuming. Now I would like you to uh, talk a little bit about the desserts. What is the favorite uh, dessert in your uh, family? Ice cream, baklava, and for example, breast uh, chicken breast uh, with milk. So uh, I generally prepare milky uh, puddings at home, and how often do you buy this kind of things for your house? Uh, I mean, in every two weeks, I buy baklava in an average, especially in the winter time. What about the guests coming into your uh, house? For example, what kind of things do you generally uh, offer them and serve them? Uh, Generally, cookies and the pastry is filled with different stuff. Uh, I can I can serve to them. So, or, or sometimes I may just prepare some ice cream for them as well. So, uh, when I give you the word of uh, ice cream, for example, I would like you to think about the images, thoughts, colors, ideas that come to mind. So, for example, when we uh, want to have something called uh, as a dessert, we can consider of uh, buying ice cream. And, uh, for example, uh, as an image, what comes to your mind? So you just visualize it. So uh, I mean only only the, but the boxes in which the the bulk ice creams uh, are filled came to my mind as a as an image. And so I mean the the, the first flavor that comes to my mind is the vanilla and the chocolate one. So what kind of chocolate do you generally buy? I buy every kind of chocolate. Cornet, Magnum, I buy this as well. And I also buy the Turk, traditional Turkish uh, ice cream like Maraş Dondurma. And what about uh, out of form? What kind of ice cream? For example, uh, you buy. Uh, when, I, when we go out somewhere, I mean, we can consider eating ice cream uh, flavored chocolate. And as a brand, for example, What are the brands? I generally buy Algida, the products of Algida, by Algida. And you said that you generally consume the ice cream uh, more often when you are uh, at uh, or in your resort uh, summer house. Yes. Uh, Uh, well, I generally try to uh, buy uh, bulk uh, ice cream when I am in this summer house, uh, and I generally would like to prefer the ones who, whose taste is better than the others. Uh, 
core net is the is the uh, the type of the, of the uh, ice cream that we generally buy. So because uh, there, I mean, and the biscuits, the one with the biscuit, or we can also buy. I mean, which one is uh, your favorite better than the others? I mean, we I, we like both of them. And what about the ice cream that you buy for your ass? For example, strawberry. I mean, because we like eating the same type of uh, taste as well, therefore we just make a collective uh, decision about which flavor to buy. So we are making the common uh, collective decisions. So, for example, if my son would like to uh, buy, eat a uh, cornetto, we can we can buy the cornetto and put it into fridge as well. So uh, I mean the caramel or the, uh, the raspberries, blackberries. So, I mean, we do not use a lot of different types uh, and of flavors as well. We generally go for van van vanilla and, and the chocolate ice cream. And the others are generally bought uh, in some uh, important extreme occasions. But I buy it very rarely. But mainly I buy the chocolate ones. What is the brand that you mainly prefer? Algida. When you're at home. What, how often do they consume ice cream? Sometimes monthly, sometimes in every two weeks, I mean, we can uh, consume ice cream. And uh, the, the frequency of uh, consuming ice cream increases, especially in the summertime. In the winter time, I mean, the, the frequency just goes down. Uh, and at what time of the day they eat? There is no special time that they would like to eat. To your guests, do you serve ice cream? And uh, what is the purpose of uh, serving ice cream to your guests? If I'm going... So I'm, uh, I'm not uh, serving ice cream uh, on its own. I generally put it just next to the traditional Turkish desserts like uh, baklava or kadayev. So, but I, I'm, I'm just serving the ice cream according to the appetite of, of the guests. Whatever they prefer to have it, I, I'm just uh, trying to fix it in that way. But, I mean, we definitely keep and store the ice cream at home. Uh, but uh, the number and the frequency may decrease down, especially in the winter time. And, uh, for example, in the winter time, we can buy an ice cream in every two months. While buying the ice cream. Which size would you like to buy? If I'm going to be putting and storing it in the fridge, I prefer the mini uh, size like Magnum type of ice cream and this uh, ice cream products where do you generally buy it? in the shopping center uh, because we do our shopping mainly in the shopping centers and the supermarkets or market markets we can buy them Uh, does may, uh, I mean your your uh, 
uh, purchasing behaviors. Does it change from uh, season to season? Yes. For, I mean, the frequency of uh, the purchasing habit may differ from season to season. Hiç duyamıyorum. Yani çok kesiliyor. Bu mikrofonu başka bir yere koyun isterseniz. Mikrofonu isterseniz dvayanını değiştirin. Çünkü hiç duyulmuyor yani. Ya da direkt mikrofonu bak. Ağzı mesela sağ tarafa mikrofona doğru dönük değil. Ya yani mikrofona doğru çevirin ya da konuştuğu istikamete mikrofonu koyun. Yes. Evet şimdi daha iyi. Efendim? Tamam. Ha? Evet. Niye? Niye? Ona ihtiyacımız var mı? Niye gitmek istiyor? Katılmak mı istemiyor? Hayır. Katılmak istiyor da eğer bekleyeceksen beklerim de diyor. Tamam beklesin. Beklesin mi Rahat? So when you go out, for example, together with your friends uh, and and the, and the kids, how often do you eat ice cream? Summer or winter? So when we go out together with the kids, I mean, uh, the time that we are out, we eat it. For example, we can consider of going to Mado. And, uh, but I mean, we, we cannot go out very often uh, for having ice cream, in, especially in the winter time. Uh, how often, or uh, in a week, or in a month, how, how would you say? So for a couple of years, I mean, last couple of years, because we uh, didn't go out very often, that's why. Uh, we can only go out at the weekends. Um, maybe I can say that in every two weeks we can go and have ice cream outside. Hey. The ice cream that you consume. According to what criteria are you buying the ice cream? Because it is a product that we have been consuming, it is in the shopping list already. And uh, therefore we buy ice cream as well. It is standard in our shopping list. Uh, the snacks that you remember in the recent times, what are they? Chocolate. Yesterday. Where? At home. Together with the kids. Is there anything that you can recall other than that? And we consume it as well. Uh, and as uh, a bit, uh, and uh, the, we are we are eating the uh, fruit flavored uh, uh, yogurt as well. And uh, we always keep uh, snacking all the time. And until the evening, uh, I mean, my my children uh, eat different kind of snacks. And uh, for example, I buy chocolate on a daily basis. So uh, I can hear your typing a lot, uh, Minnie. Oh my God! I don't know what we can do. Uh, okay, let me uh, mute my microphone. Just a minute. <laughs> so you said Aldita, Magnum, and do you use any other brand? 
We have panda, ülker, and in the packet, pack, package one. So, I mean, you can talk about the, the, the bulk uh, uh, ice cream sellers as well. Uh, we have Mado and Aliusta. Of course, there are some other brands as well. I and, uh, I'm sure, but these are the uh, these are the <coughs> So I would like to talk. So I, I, I like its uh, taste. Uh, I tried the other ones as well, but for uh, I mean I, I cannot say that I like every every type of algida. Uh, and I mean as a, a co co panda. Panda is an ice cream uh, rem uh, remaining from our childhood. So I haven't consumed it a lot. It is not an ice cream that I consumed a lot. You don't like it? No, no I mean at the moment I don't remember its taste a lot. And so so I think uh, last couple of years it has just launched into market. But Algida is really very common, and I mean they've got a very wide range of network, and they can be found uh, everywhere and very easily. And Ulker, you said. I tried Ulker as well, but compared to the quality and the taste of Algida. I found it a little bit weaker. Algida is a little bit finer than uh, Ulka. So, can you make a comparison? No, I'm, I'm, I cannot compare. So, the commercials are more sympathetic when uh, compared to the other commercials. And even, even I do not remember the uh, very, uh, flavors of uh, panda at the moment. Maybe uh, they are only sold in the gro street grocers, uh, but I mean it's not very common, and I can only see its commercials on television. So, for example, when uh, what about Mado? Mado is a brand that can come into my mind when uh, when uh, the bulk ice cream is uh, concerned. And Mado is easy to find, and they've got their branches in many of the places. But Aliusta, uh, I mean, the, the branches of Aliusta is very limited, and they are not very widespread. So Aliusta was the was the ice cream uh, sh uh, shop of our uh, yeah, young uh, younger ages, and uh, uh, but but I mean uh, the taste has just been changed over the time because I mean it's not the uh, I mean uh, it's not the same taste that we had when we were younger. Who likes the bulk ice cream at home? We generally prefer to buy the packaged one. And sometimes we may consider of uh, buying Maharashtra ice cream, Donderman. And the, for example, the kids 
uh, are never uh, never known what kind of thing is the bark ice cream because they have never tasted it and so whichever that we can reach uh, we prefer to buy that one because I mean the bark ice cream is not something that we can easily reach uh, to buy and for example in the pet series in the past times uh, the bulk ice cream were, were sold and we were buying them uh, from the even but series but the bulk ice cream is not so common as it was before so that, therefore we've just started to uh, we have just started to buy the package ice cream instead for example we were not able to find uh, the ice cream in the winter time uh, I mean, in terms of uh, uh, uh, buying a bulk ice cream, but now I mean the package one uh, can uh, also be found in the winter time. So the youngsters of our present days, do do they like the bulk uh, ice cream or the uh, the package one? They generally prefer. The, the package one because it's really very easy for them to get, have an access to the, those uh, uh, ice creams uh, I mean for, uh, for a bulk ice cream they have to go to somewhere like pet series or cafes to eat it I mean the, the bulk ice cream uh, is generally sold in the cafeterias and the restaurants or, or uh, the uh, ice cream uh, shops. I sometimes uh, consume ice cream, bulk ice cream, but not very often. Uh, so, uh, especially in the in the summer places, we are also. Uh, uh, we are also for getting the packaged uh, ice cream. So I mean, we were always buying the uh, packaged one uh, when we were in the summer house. So what about the bulk ice cream? Do they generally eat them together with the traditional Turkish desserts? No, we generally uh, we generally prefer to have them on the cones. So, uh, wh wh what about the ice cream which can be uh, can be consumed together with the traditional desserts? I mean, that that is the type of Marash Dondurma ice cream, you know. And if if you are uh, if you are you are planning to eat it together with the traditional desserts, so the ice cream should be the Marash one, according to you, the traditional ice cream, the bath ice cream. So do you think that they are putting more weights when you, when it's consumed uh, compared to the ones sold in the uh, in the markets? Uh, the bulk ice cream. I believe that uh, they are uh, they are the ones who may, who may cause to uh, make uh, the people ill uh, compared uh, to the packaged uh, ice cream. So maybe uh, I mean uh, maybe because uh, the the ice cream in the package one are very well packed and they do not have a negative impact on the health of my kids. And I believe that the bulk ice cream is one of the ice cream which may just cause uh, the people make ill. Uh, that's why it's important for, in terms of its uh, health. And I. So let me get inside and if uh, I, I ask if they've got any further questions to ask. Var bir tane. Onu soracağım. Bir şey gibi yani, tamam. Diyor ki, what is the uh, shape? 
gün içinde çocuklarına dondurma verme konusunda ne düşünüyor? Günün her hangi bir saatinde verebiliyor mu? Yoksa daha çok tatlı olarak mı ikram ediyor? Yes, yes. Uh, that's by dondurma when her in laws come. Ya yani kayın kayın babaları kayın babası kayın kaynanası geldiğinde şeyi mi veriyor? Açık dondurmayı mı veriyor? Ya da yaşlılara daha fazla açık dondurma ikram edip de gençlere mi paketli dondurma ikram ediyor? Ya onu merak ediyor yani. Yaşlılar daha fazla açık dondurmayı mı tercih ediyor? Yoksa onlara da kapalı dondurma? Artık yani davranış değişikliği oluştu mu hı hı. toplumda diye. Bir de bu var değil mi? Bir de o var. Günlük, e, yani günün her saatinde verebiliyor mu dondurma çocuklarına diyor tamam mı? Or is it more for you? Ya da sadece tatlı olarak mı veriyor diyor. Tabii o nasıl ne anlıyor orada onu bilmiyorum ben. Bir dakika beklesene. Ee, bir dakika bekle. Ya da git. Tamam. Sonu bitiriyorum. Evet. So I got two uh, questions for you. What do you think about the uh, serving ice cream to your children? Do you give them uh, throughout the day? Yes. Because it is made of milk and that is my preference, especially in the winter time I believe that maybe from time to time I believe that the kids should eat ice cream and especially for the throat infections I heard that the ice cream and uh, ice cream and the yogurt would be really really very nice remedy for a recovery and so this is something is written in the in the uh, kids health books so you are giving ice cream do, during the day to your kids yes and uh, yamor so, so for example when and uh, you elder people come to your şimdi şey sor biraz önce çıkmadan tamam mı e, yoğurt veriyorum dedi. Yoğurt ne zaman veriyor? Dondurma ne zaman veriyor? Yoğurt dondurmanın yerini alabilir mi diye sor. So, uh, well, I am just picking up the ones that they like, you know. I mean, there is not not certain type of ice cream that I am uh, uh, I'm uh, serving uh, them. I mean, I'm just trying to understand if there is a change in the attitudes when it comes to serving ice cream to the elder and younger people. So it's really very difficult for me to find out that the ice cream which would just uh, taste uh, the, the same way that the ice cream in the past was tasting. So uh, uh, that's why uh, I am also serving them the packet, packaged ice cream. So I'm just trying to force me to remember if uh, there is anything different uh, than I do, but uh, there is nothing. So, but you say that the youngest uh, generally uh, opt for the package one, yes. Yes, efendim. Evet, bir soru var. Diyor ki, yoğurt ne zaman dondurmanın yerini alır? Anladın mı? Dondurmadan, uh, yoğurttan bahsetti ya. Ee, ve yoğurt hakkında ne düşünüyor yani bu tatlandırılmış yoğurtlar hakkında tamam mı? Okay. So you have mentioned about the yogurt. 
So do you think that you, the, the flavored yogurt can just substitute the ice cream? I mean, uh, because it has got uh, the, the feature of being frozen, therefore the kids are also preferring eating a yogurt instead of ice cream as well. They can eat the yogurt, for example, uh, and it can just uh, be corresponding some of the taste of uh, Argida ice creams. So the, the fruit flavored yogurt. So Danone I have, for example. This fruity yogurt. Do you think that it can substitute and takes the place of the ice cream? Because it, uh, it uh, uh, addresses to the kids I mean, it may be appealing to the taste of the kids, but I don't think that the adult people would be willing to replace it with the ice cream. But it doesn't, uh, I mean, it, it doesn't give the same taste as the ice cream does. Uh, I mean, the, the yogurt, the flavored yogurt is something for the kids, not for the adults in order to satisfy the need of having something uh, sweet. And the milk thing is good for the health of the people at the at the phase of uh, growing. For example, my daughter do not prefer eating flavored yogurt mu much. I mean, she prefers eating ice cream instead of yogurt. Uh, it's really very difficult to uh, for uh, kids at the age of uh, ten or twelve or fourteen. Uh, eating yogurt rather than ice cream. I don't know which one is healthier than the other because I mean it is uh, both the artificial and the end. Yeah, I mean they can they can uh, consume any of them if they like. Yok. Thank you very much for your participation and patience as well. Uh, have a good day. Menu. Menu, can you hear me? Menu, can you hear me? Menu. I can hear you. Okay, uh, I've got a question because uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, some of the respondents.